Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I'm here, we're in Jackson, Tennessee, and I'm with the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Hi, and, how are you? And I got something for him, which you guys probably already know, uh, those of you that are loyal enough to watch my channel, and if you're not, I understand, because I'm not really all that reliable, but I have a presentation that I want to give to him, and that's the reason why we're here. So, let's go ahead and get to it. All right. Well, whenever you're well, ready. Well, hi guys and gals. This is me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and this is Ed Hatmaker, hey also guys. known as Ed's Attention to Detail <laughs> on YouTube. And he drove all the way over here to Tennessee from Arkansas. It's really only two and a half hours. It's not all that far. <laughs> or Arkansas, depending on how you want to pronounce it, to bring me something that he has built for me. And so uh, I'm going to open the package now. Do you, uh, would you like for me to hold your camera too? Sure, that would be great. I'm already, already recording. All right. I know what it is, though I haven't seen it completed yet well nobody has I, I've, I've already taken video and photos and but nobody has seen it I haven't put it out yet because I wanted you to be the first to see it uh, I appreciate that and, and what this is as I'm opening it I can explain a little bit I had reached out to Ed because I had seen uh, another model airplane that he had built a while back probably have to cut it down the center don't worry about the knife won't go through it and he asked, and I asked him if he would build me a copy of the airplanes that I worked on when I was in the Navy many years ago now. An F-8J Crusader. And uh, I was an AME technician, that's Aviation Structural Mechanic, yep. that's what that Just stands for, and the E is for egress. Go Man. easy. He's got this Go easy. <laughs> yep. See where the tail's sticking through? That. Yeah, yep. just kind of picked it straight up. Because I didn't want the fins to break off the bottom or anything. And, and he, I didn't ask him to, but he did what I was hoping he would do. Let's see if I can do Lift this the without shaking too much. There you go. This is an F-8J Crusader, and uh, he even has the same uh, number on it and livery. And uh, I was a member of Fighter Squadron 191, and that's what this colors and uh, designs are on the tail. And I worked on the ejection seats, and the ejection seats, I'm going to bring this up. I don't know how close Ed can get in with his camera. The ejection seat is this little dooflicky in here. <laughs> and it has those two handles on the top. So if the airplane starts to crash, the pilot would grab hold of those handles and pull that down. And it had a, what they called a face curtain on it. It would go right down over his helmet. And that would activate the... First, it would activate the canopy. It would eject that and then the seat would eject out. That's what I worked on. And the F-8 was known for uh, weeding out the ensigns. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the wing, these were, this wing would go up and down. He put it in the up position, so it's ready to take off. Yep. Up position, flaps down. Yep. Now the horizontals, um, horizontals. actually, if uh, if I can get another hand for a camera person here real quick. So so the horizontals will move on it. Okay. All right. I tried to position the canopy in the open position, but the model would not let me build it that way without, you know, cutting some things and yep, doing some out of it. And I was scared to. I really was. No, that's fine. This is so. beautiful. And he did the fade on the bottom is faded into white up to the gray and all inside of the landing gear and uh, wow what a beautiful beautiful model and this is going to have a place of uh, 
honor in my man cave. <laughs> and uh, used to have to crawl up inside yeah. these intakes. Yeah. When I was a plane captain before I got working on the ejection seats. Well, now I didn't tell you this. I was an A7 plane captain. Ah. So we, I, I actually had a patch that was a duck diver and it was a pair of feet sticking out of the intake and we wore that on our jacket. Yeah. <laughs> you had to crawl up in there occasionally to inspect for fires and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna be a little crap the A7, yeah. <laughs> if you looked at these side by side, this is an F8 and the A7 looked very similar except the A7 was a little bit stubby, stubbier. It was shorter and, and stubbier. More squat looking. Yeah. And it was made for carrying bombs, although these were retrofitted to carry bombs later on. Mm -hmm. And notice it says right on the tail, it says USS Ariskany. That was the aircraft carrier that we were um, deployed on. Now remember, I had sent you a photo of this airplane sitting in the barnyard or the boneyard yeah so i had actually off of what you told me and off of the photos that you sent me and doing research i was able to narrow it down to this airplane or one other airplane with with a different Buno number yeah but the other airplane was never in 191 so it had to be this it one had be it this had one. to be that number so absolutely beautiful job well, I'm glad you like it. I am so glad you like it. I was so afraid because I look at it and I'm like, man, I messed this up and I messed that up. And uh, Well, if, if you, uh, you haven't worked on A7s would know that they weren't perfect right. in real life. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, but but any good plane captain always wanted to keep his plane clean. Exactly right. So that's why I wanted to build it in a clean look. Yep, and we had uh, what we now call waterless hand cleaner mm -hmm. is what we used for cleaning this uh, when we were out at sea because you didn't have a lot of access to fresh water um, when you're out at sea. So we'd use waterless hand cleaner to keep these things clean. And the cleaner they were, the better they flew. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very, very much. And let me do this, and I want to shake hands. All right, guys. Thank you very so, much. I there you go. It. Looks like I've got a very happy George. Oh, yeah. So uh, I appreciate the opportunity to do this. I Thank really you. do. Thank you. So cool. And uh, when I post this on my channel, I'll uh, post a few pictures of me in real life back in the day. Sounds cool. So you'll see what I looked like back when I worked on these. Well, so that's pretty much going to wrap this one up, guys. Um, I do have a video showing the build process. And like I told him before, I wanted him to see the model before you guys saw it because I was building it for him. So I hope you understand. But look for that video to come out really soon. I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, as usual, take care, God bless, and pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye.